you're all having a really good Friday. We're having an awesome Friday because it's new release day. So I'm really excited to bring this video to you, showing you all of the items in the brand new release. This video was actually recorded during our Facebook Live um, last night. So, um, so I have sped it up a little bit just to uh, make it a little bit easier for you to watch. There were also some items from the release that we didn't have available to show you last night, but we do have them now. So they will be included in this video. So look out for those. Um, this is such a cool um, release. I'm so excited to bring it to you. Um, I really, really do love it. And I hope that you love it too. Please do let us know what your favourite bits um, of, the, of the collection are in the comments below, because I love to see your comments and love to hear what you've got to say. Um, I'm going to stop talking now because I need to go and pack some orders. It's been super busy here this morning. So um, I really hope that you enjoy the video. Sit back, relax, grab a cup of tea, start making your wish lists and I'll see you at the end of the video. So here we are guys with our first stamp set of the new release. And this is our Spooktacular stamp set. It's the first Halloween set that I've done and I've tried to make it super versatile so that you can use it even after the Halloween season. So that's why we have this large background die, which is really, really, really cool. And um, the stars and the clouds and the crescent moon, you don't just have to use for Halloween. And that was done deliberately because we are quite close to the spooky season now. This uh, has been sized as well so that it fits perfectly with the large circle mask masking stencil it's a bit of a mouthful <laughs> and it also fits with um the one of the circles within our circle of love nesting die so it's all been um created so that it works perfectly with what else you've got in your stash we've got our super cute ghosts the little um little cute bat we've got a pumpkin that you can build with the faces um at the top of the set there there's also some little accessories with the cute witch's hat the, the witch's broom and then we have these additional little uh, stamps that you can use to create your background the sentiments are you are spooktacular happy halloween and haunting sorry for the difference in quality in this video i did this separately because we didn't have the dies uh, last night when i recorded the uh, the live on facebook but these are the coordinating dies and as you can see you get an awful lot extra with these dies not just um, the ones that coordinate with the stamps so you get this scalloped frame and you also get this super cute little build your own ghost so that's the scallop frame there that i've cut from some glitter cardstock and this is the little ghost once you pop him together and you use these additional little dies to build his face and his cheeks super cute i really really love this set um i am definitely a convert to halloween there are two sentiments for the Halloween um, set, the Too Cute to Spook and the Halloween. Both come with an external die that will give you the outline. So here is the Too Cute to Spook made up and here is that Halloween sentiment made up. And here are those extra elements that you're going to get with your coordinating dies. I couldn't resist making this up into a quick card and I even added a little action wobbler um, to make our little spooky ghost move the final part of our halloween release is this stencil there is so much that you can do with this stencil we have the um the spooky fence the trees the flying bats those gravestones but you also have the um the spooky house the haunted house and you also have the moon the great thing about this stencil is that you will be able to use the cut out portion of the stencil to add those windows to your haunted house. This card here uses um, those little bats from the set and they've been heat embossed onto some black cardstock, which I think is a great idea. Um, Shabnese has also used our landscape edge dies from the last release to make her sparkly clouds. For my next two cards, um, I've used some different elements from in my stash um, to mix with our spooky, spooktacular stamp set. I used the Bee Alsom in the first example, and this one are the Christmas Surprise Critters. I absolutely loved making this card. It just really made me chuckle seeing all those little paws dangling through those grid lines. 
All you need to do is add those little hats and it just makes any of your critters look a little bit Halloween. In Vicky's card here, she's used um, the Spooktacular stamp set along with the Spooktacular stencil and made an absolutely beautiful background and really spooky haunted house. She's done the same in this card but used pretty much everything using the stencil. So the house, the trees, those, um, those gravestones and she's even used the slope on the stencil to make a grassy hill. For Vicky's next card, she's made this really cute shaker card and I love how she's used some non-traditional Halloween colours um, to make this really pretty pastel card. The googly eyes on this card here from Shabnoo really do make me smile and she's used that background stamp to colour up two of the quarters on this really cool square card. The lime green on this card really does pack a punch and heat embossing that background stamp really does look effective on the black card as well. For our next stamp set, I'm introducing you to our super cute sloths. Look at them lazing about on the tree branches. Aren't they so cute? Um, we have four of our, um, our sloths here that seem to be um, moving gradually off, sliding off their tree branch one holding a blanket and then you have the accessory stamp that allow you to build your scene. You also have um, within the set this little thought cloud and the Zs fit into that cloud so that you can have our little sloth dreaming about sleep. The sentiments are really funny and cute um, and obviously there is a coordinating die set that works perfectly with, uh, with this stamp set. Here's an example from Vicky um, and it's a really cute um, example. She's also used one of the stamps that I will be showing you later. Here's a slimline card um, from Catherine where she's used all of the sloths within the set. Um, and here we've just used the one. This is a card made by Amy and she's really used um, some good layering effect with a die set that's coming up shortly too. Our next stamp set is the Life Ups and Downs and it features um, our hippo and our elephant around a campfire. They have some marshmallows to toast and a s'more. And we also have our little elephant and our hippo on this seesaw. And it's a build your own seesaw so it comes in two parts. And the reason for that is that you will be able to use the coordinating die set here to build up your little seesaw and potentially add a little brad so that you can make that move. You also get the additional stamps to build up your scene and a cute little hippo dog friend for our characters. And here's an example um, that Shabnese has made with the brad to make our seesaw move. Here's an example from Catherine uh, where she's um, masked out part of the sentiment so that her little characters can say I love you and I love you some more. Here's a slimline card using um, a die and stencil that I'll be showing you later but it features all of our characters in a super cute way and that seesaw works as well. Here is a really simple card um, using both of those characters around the campfire and I love that background and how um, that's been blended to create the illusion of a campfire. Another card here using one of our circle of love dies to make a shaped card and this little hippo here is so cute watching his hat blow away in the wind really really sweet. Here's an example from Amy where she's teamed up her little hippo with the spooktacular stamp set which just shows again how you can mix and match your stamp sets to really change them for the seasons. Our next stamp set um, is our, our little beavers, so beavering away and um, we have a number of characters here that are all beavering about their business and they have some cute accessories that you can use to really build your scene. Um, we have the construction hat, the axe, the hammer, the saw and there's even a little duck friend who's chuckling to himself um, as they keep on beavering away. The coordinating die set is perfect and it even cuts out the little hole in the saw which I think is a really really great touch. Some examples um, of this set being used then we have this slimline card um, that uses all of our little characters 
and I really think it looked like a construction site with those signs saying stop beavering away it's your day and again that little duck chuckling away seeing them all continuing to beaver away this set card is really really beautiful and it features a die set that's coming up shortly but all of our little characters look really happy going about their business this set card here from Amy uses um, a background set, uh, stamp set that's coming up later on in the video um, but again this just really shows how you can use those smaller stamps to build up your background our final stamp set um, of the um, A6 size is our home sweet home and it's perfect for this time of year because it's creating a cosy little house for our little bear to be sat in while he reads his book. So the super cute bear wearing his glasses has an armchair, a roaring fireplace and he has some shelves, a lamp table and all of these cute accessories. All the coordinating dies work with the with the stamps and even cut out the little um, the little triangle where the picture frame should hang up. And again, it's a little detail that I think just really makes this perfect. Here's an example of this being used and how cute does he look sat on that comfy chair. I love how Amy's coloured this. Um, that red chair just looks really rich and cosy. This is um, our A5 stamp set. So this is the largest stamp set that we've created so far. And I thought it was really important to do this stamp set in this size because it really shows the wood grain effect um, and allows you to create a whole background um, and card base using this design. It also comes with some really great punny sentiments that you can use to finish off your cards. Moving on now to our fabulous standalone die set. So the first one that I want to share with you is this autumn scene building die set. Now this actually could be used for all times of year but as we're in autumn that's the season that we're focusing on. It, the first die in the set cuts out an A2 size panel which you can use on many other um, card bases. But here I've used the other elements to paper feet a really pretty autumn scene. Obviously you can cut out your uh, leaves in different colours to match different seasons. So uh, again this makes this a really really versatile set that you can use throughout all the year. You can also use different effects such as the, the example that I'm showing you here where rather than paper piece in the background we've used our stencils. The stress ink has been used to colour in the tree in this example and that really does bring out the embossing in that die. So you can really see the embossed effect of the wood grain on our tree trunk. It looks really, really beautiful. In this one example, only part of the die has been used. So we've just used the tree element and some of the leaves to add this into the background of our card. Here's an example of where we've just cut the tree out of some black cardstock to create a silhouette. Again, this beautiful ink blended background. This really does just show how versatile this set can be. Our next standalone die set is our mountain scene builder. And in this set you get so many different versions of your mountains. You're going to be able to use this on all kinds of your cards. So I've just cut some examples out for you of the different types of mountain that you can build. Um, each of the mountains comes with a snowy um, cap. And you have the larger set of three that are joined together, the narrower set of three that are joined, and then you get four individual mountains that you can then use to build up to your theme. And I'm just using this with some offcuts um, from our landscape edge die that just shows how you can really build that up. In this example from Vicky, she's used those really cool mountains to create a backdrop for her beavers and it worked beautifully in that craft cardstock. Our next set of dies are our oval nesting dies and these are such a staple. They are one that the design team really wanted but again I wanted to offer you something different. So not only do you get the nesting dies but you also get a scalloped die within there and this is an example of how that's been used uh, to frame our images there. You also get the hello sentiment die as well as part of that set. Slimline dies are still really, really popular and it was important to me that we had um, a really good nesting set within our collection. 
but I also wanted to use that internal portion to make some really cool touches. So you have these trio of scalloped apertures that you don't have to line up yourself. So it becomes it comes as a solid die that just fits on that internal um, and smallest nesting die there. So you can also use those waste bits to make some really cool shapes. Here's an example that's being used by uh, Vicky and it shows just how well those apertures work to frame your characters. Our next dies um, are actually two sets of dies. One is an A6 nesting frame die set, the other is an A2 nesting frame die set. And I've just cut out some of those frames just so you can see how they layer up. It's one solid die that cuts out all of these pieces in one pass. So really, really um, useful and is going to be so much fun to create lots of different projects with. Next are our sentiment dies. And as always, we try and give you something a little bit extra with our sentiment. So you have the It's Your Day sentiment die. And within this die, you also receive this stitched banner, which is perfect to fit um, as a focal point on your card. We also have the Scripty Happy and the Simple Birthday. The Scripty Happy has an outline die. We have our wavy hello, um, which creates this lovely bold hello sentiment that is on a wavy line and really does pack a punch on the front of your card. We have the You Are Awesome, which um, has an outline die, a strip of those stars, creates a beautiful focal point and also comes with some additional individual star elements. So you can see how it's been used on these two cards here uh, with some gold card stock to make a really pretty decoration. So now we have our stencil collection. There are four stencils in the release this time. The first is this starry sky stencil, which works perfectly with our spooktacular stamp set, but would also work um, in a number of other projects throughout the year. Our autumn leaf stencil is beautiful and obviously works with all of your autumn projects and you can see it's been used in the background of these cards that we showed you earlier. And finally we have our birch forest stencil. I absolutely love this stencil. I think it's going to make such great backgrounds for all of your autumn and winter projects and take you right through into the next year. Here are some of the cards that the design team have made for this release and I really want to say thank you to them because without them um, no release is truly possible and we really do appreciate all the inspiration that they give us. So there it is guys that is the new release for October. I really hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you found something in there that you like. Um, like I say please let us know in the comments we'd love to hear from you and please do join me um, on Thursday evening for another Facebook live where I'll be using some items from the new release. Um, also if you can please do join us on Create and Craft on the 13th of October that's 5.15 UK time um, but it will also be streamed in the US as well so if you're available to watch us then please do and I'll be demonstrating live some of the new items as well. Thanks so much for joining me today. It really has been a pleasure to chat to you all and I'll see you all again in another Time for Tea Designs video really soon. Bye guys.